among all these multi-million dollar homes and here stands 409 Morningstar, a derelict looking building Morningstar, a derelict looking building situated in an exclusive neighborhood right on Newport Beach Harbor. So here we are seven, almost exactly seven years, seven months later. And that building is being systematically demolished. You can take a look, you can see the inside walls, the outside walls facing the street have been torn apart. They destroyed virtually anything that in any future technology might reveal something, a technology we don't have yet. They've destroyed it so that there is nothing you can see. There's nothing there. And one has to wonder why this building sits like this year after year. According to Linda, most of the autopsy evidence has now been destroyed. She never got the autopsy photos that her attorney apparently had, right? Fernandez had photos in his possession at one time. Yes, but they, they won't return them to me. And he gave had another attorney take over the case and do a, what, a two-hour trial? No, it was about barely an hour. An hour barely. trial. After years and years of trying to get justice on this house, she gets a one-hour trial where virtually all of the no subpoenaed jury. evidence was not presented at all, and there was no jury. I wasn't allowed. I was, I was promised a jury, and the night before the trial, my attorney called me up and said, he's waived the jury that we have the judge's sympathy, and I told him no, and he said, basically too bad and I was not permitted to have a jury trial. And that was which attorney? Len Chayton. Len Chayton, who we searched for in the San Fernando Valley and could not find an office for this man. We could not find the man. And this is so-called bar certified attorney, Len Chayton. Waves her right to a jury trial after promising her a jury trial, correct? He promised me a jury trial, guaranteed me one. From the beginning, Norman did as well. Did they put it in writing, that guarantee in writing? Uh... But they didn't. I'm sure they didn't. And never trust an attorney. It's the thing I learned in these cases over and over. Never trust your attorney. If he makes you a promise, make him write it, sign it, and notarize it. Not with his secretary as a witness, some public notary. Never trust your attorney. If he makes you a promise, make him write it, sign it, and notarize it. The walls are torn out. It's being intentionally left to weather. This is not an accident. No competent construction or reconstruction person would tear a house open like this and leave all these critical joints exposed to the weather. This is intentional destruction. In case there's any future methodology that comes up that can prove the murder. This is 409 Morningstar here in an exclusive neighborhood on Newport Beach Harbor. Inside these walls, one night in January 2003, my investigation leads me to believe a snuff film was made in this house. And it's my belief Andrea Nelson was tied hand and foot to a bed while she was videotaped, raped, and murdered. This was confirmed by both my attorney and my private investigator. Linda Cater says her private investigator and her attorney, Fernandez, both confirmed that this is a fact. And that's why we need to see those photos that show her ankles and her wrists as she struggled, as she was snuffed and murdered and taped while they did it. Also, the witness I talked to here in the street, this babbling woman said, in effect, she was shown the video as a warning to her to keep her mouth shut. And she saw the video that someone named Iggy had control of. 
Linda? Do you think you'll ever get justice for your daughter? Yes. How are we going to get justice? Because I'm never going to give up. Because the evidence speaks for itself. I just got to get the right ear. That's all. You know, basically, Orange County OC organized crime. I mean, it, Sheriff Corona is gone, but I don't know when the autopsy information was destroyed. I don't know if it was under Sheriff Mike Corona's regime or the new sheriff. But either way, um, I've gone to every person that I could possibly go to here in Orange County, as well as the state and federal level. So I'm just hoping that YouTube and you will get my, my story out to the right person who's going to do the right thing. Well, there you have it from Linda Cater, mother of Andrea Nelson, murdered here January 27th, 2003, seven years and seven months ago. And I believe after years of investigating this case, there's no question in my mind, none at all, that Sheriff Mike Corona, the ex-sheriff, had knowledge to some degree of this murder or possibly was even present on the night of the murder. Because of what that unknown woman said to me and the fact that she saw the snuff film, we know the snuff film exists and it's probably circulating somewhere in an Iranian market black market of snuff films. Somebody ought to do something to form a grand jury to investigate because there's enough evidence just with Harry Brunel's statements that somebody was murdered here. It was not an accidental death and it doesn't take more than 10 minutes to get from here to Hogg Hospital where the person I interviewed there said her body, uh, Linda Cater's daughter's body, Andrea's, was already cold when the next morning, sheriffs in this house at 409 found three bottles of date rape drug. Not only that, Bakhtar had a rap record that Pastor Wiley Drake and I saw that explained this guy had multiple arrests, criminal arrests, and convictions, and he never should have been given probation on a penal code 1000 which is for new first-time offenders mostly. Yet, Bakhtar got a real blessing from the court, and it was such a contrived trial. We asked permission to tape it, and were told by the bailiff we couldn't. When they walked out of that trial, they found Bakhtar down to the street to get an interview. He got in a waiting taxi, not his car, and he disappeared in the traffic. This thing was set up and rigged to let Bachter walk out of there, right out of Orange County Justice Center. I'm William Wagner with Linda Cater here.